Thank, thank you. you, Mr. Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, uh, Madam Secretary, for being here today. Uh, limited time and a lot to cover here. Uh, as you know, as we spoke earlier about uh, the consumer operated and oriented plan uh, programs, which were the alternative to the public option, uh, I would argue perhaps these are uh, somewhat quasi public options, uh, intended to be low cost, government subsidized health care plans. Uh, and to date, I believe HHS has awarded $2 billion in federal loans to establish the plans. Well, one plan, as, as you know, Co Opportunity which served over 100,000 people in Nebraska and Iowa, was seized uh, by the state of Iowa and has since been liquidated. Folks who are on the plan uh, have been left confused, frustrated, and off in, again looking for uh, other plans. And I, I sent a letter on January 23rd uh, asking specific questions, did receive a response on May 21st. I would like uh, to request unanimous consent to submit uh, both of these uh, letters uh, for the record. Okay. Thank you. Now, quickly, some questions. Uh, Co-Opportunity received approximately $146 million in federal loans. Will any of those uh, dollars be paid back to the federal government? Uh, with regard to that, uh, that's a question I'll follow up on. Okay. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, my understanding is Iowa and Nebraska were told they could not suspend enrollment within Co-Opportunity and have it remain a qualified health plan, yet Tennessee was later allowed to do so. Do you know why that policy changed? So per our conversation, I actually did follow up with CMS, and we didn't have the record of that request in any way coming in. So I'd love to, for our team to be able to follow up and understand if there was miscommunication, because based on your comment, it was something that was concerning to me uh, when you mentioned it, and I went and followed up. So if we can work with your staff to understand what, I, what your staff understands happened, that would be helpful. Okay. In, uh, recent reports claim only one co-op did didn't have an operating loss in 2014. Is that accurate? Uh, I would have to go uh, co-op by co-op. Okay. Are, are there any concerns about possible liquidation of any of the other plans in the near future or, or so, not so distant? Future? With regard to the co-ops, because they are all new businesses, they are startups like the small businesses that we were just talking about before, you know, we are going to have failures in terms of the co-op system. That was a part of what was set up in terms of the original $5 billion that the Congress gave, but then through sequester and other means went to $1 billion. So I think that there will be co-ops that will have challenges and issues. I think we are working closely with the states and the state insurance departments to make sure that we get in front of them and do the kinds of things that we attempted to do in the co-opportunity situation, which was make sure as much as possible and where it was appropriate, we would engage in supporting communication, offering a special enrollment period, and working with the state insurers to use our and any authorities we had to make sure that those consumers were taken care of. Okay. Will any of the consumers who lost coverage from the failed co-op be penalized by the individual mandate? Uh, I do not know how many are not still in systems, but I will check and we'll follow up on that. My understanding is no, but I want to confirm that before. In, in that uh, vein, I have introduced H.R. 954, which would exempt anyone who has lost health insurance from uh, the failed co-ops uh, from the individual mandate. Could the administration support uh, that approach and that piece of legislation? What I'd love to do is have the opportunity to see if that is something that has already happened or not, and then review the bill. Okay. Now, in the bigger picture of obviously uh, large sums of money uh, being offered to these uh, consumer uh, operated and oriented uh, programs, what is the likelihood of those dollars being uh, paid back? With regard to the loans that have gone Correct. out? I think with regard to a number of the co-ops that, uh, you know, that will happen in terms of the successful co-ops and those that are gaining traction and working. As I have said, there may be some that are not, and we will get back on that specific question. Now, it seems to me also that uh, various, the various states uh, relevant to this uh, issue might have a different approach for uh, paying on uh, the claims that were submitted by how how on top of this are, are we? Because it's, in Nebraska, there is a fallback, and, and yet it uh, hurts more people. I apologize. My time has expired. State insurance law, as you know, is a, a big part of how that gets determined. But we try and work and support the states with different options. Time for the gentleman has expired. Uh, Mr. Blumenauer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Madam Secretary, uh, I appreciate your reluctance to deal with uh,